Hey, while you in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like and subscribe. They slew the Puerto Ricans. They slew the Seminole Indians. That's why they speak Spanish now. Spanish is a language of the Spaniards or the Latins. You did not speak Spanish at first. So we were preaching liberty to the captives, those that were forced into Christianity. I want to touch on something that you said because you said something about us talking mostly concerned about the people. What's more important versus the word or the people, right? right, right. What is the word? What's the gospel? Let me ask you that. That Jesus died for us on right. the cross. For who? For us, for everybody. Who's us? For everybody, right? Let me show you something. Read Isaiah chapter 61 and verse 1. Bring it out. I'm going to show you because what we're going over when it comes to the word and the destruction or the uplifting of our people is one and the same. Uh, uh, we think that it's something different, but it's actually one and the same. Once you get that, I want Ezekiel chapter 3 and verse 8, I believe it is. But read what you got right now. The book of Isaiah chapter 61 and verse 1. Yeah. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me. So the Bible says that the Spirit of the Lord God is upon us. Right? Come on. Because the Lord hath anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. That's what gospel means. It means good tidings or good news unto the meek. Right? Come on. He hath sent me to bind up the brokenhearted. What? To bind up the brokenhearted. Are all nations brokenhearted? Because that's what he said. He said he has anointed us to uh, preach good tidings unto the brokenhearted. Right? And unto the meek, correct? So you said all nations are brokenhearted? You sure about that? Okay, we're gonna you think so. I like that answer. You think so. Come on, read on. To proclaim liberty. Claim what? To proclaim liberty. Are all nations in bondage? No. America's in bondage. Is Joe Biden in bondage to any man? Who does Joe Biden answer to? No, he's the president. He's the president. America is the leader of the free world. They are the top nation on this earth. They are not in bondage unto anyone. They run the European Union. They are the top nation. They're not in the bondage. So this don't apply to everybody. But the gospel was was. Uh, it was determined to be given unto the broken heart and to give it to those that were under bondage. One second. One second. To proclaim liberty to the captives. To the what? To the captives. To the captives. All nations are not captive. This is where we have to start actually opening up our Bibles and reading and understanding what it's actually saying versus what we've heard on television or what some of our parents may have taught us because how did, you said you were Honduran, right? You are, are you a Catholic? Christian. Christian. How did Hondurans become Christian? Right. You Honduras. don't know? How? I don't know. I'm going to show it to you. I'm going to show it to you right now. Let me get, uh, somebody pull me that sign up about the cacique. I'm going to show you exactly how the natives of the Americas, the Central, South, and North Americas, how they became Christian. I'm going to show you your history. And then I'm going to show it to you in the Bible. Uh, yeah, show me that. Pull that up. So here is the history of Christianity, of certain sections of Christianity, right? You got the uh, Baptist Church that was created in 1608, okay, by John Smith. Right there we have, next we have in 1830, you have the Mormon, Mormon Church, the Seventh-day Adventists, and then we also have, what's that, Jehovah's Witness, I can't see it. And then we also have Pentecostal Church. So these are different branches of Christianity that were created by these men, right? I'm going to show you how everybody became Christian. Because Christianity, the top two religions on this earth is Christianity and Islam, right? 
So watch this. The book of Revelation, chapter 11 and verse 10. And they that dwell upon the earth shall rejoice over them. Meaning those other nations that conquered the, the nation of Israel shall rejoice over us. Come on. And make merry. Uh -huh. And shall send gifts one to another. Meaning what? During Christmas, we were actually those gifts. We were slaves. They, they gifted each one another of us. Come on. Because these two prophets tormented him that dwelt on the earth. Now look at this side right here. Look at this side right here. You're looking at the atrocities of so-called African Americans, and you're looking at atrocities of the so-called Native Americans. All of these people right here is how we became Christians. This is how we became Christians. We were forced unto Christianity. You all right? Hey, give me the scripture in Revelation about uh, the image of the beast. That's what I want. Is that 13 and 8? I want the image of the beast. Yes, they are at war. Those are the... 13 and 7, read that. The book of Revelation, chapter 13 and verse 7. And it was given unto him to make war with the saints, uh -huh. to overcome them. So who was the him that it was given to? Power was given to a man, which is actually talking about the so-called white man today, to make war with the saints. Who are the saints? The nation of Israel. But read on. And power was given him over all kindreds and tongues and nations. And all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him. And all that what? And all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him. Who is the earth worshiping today? What's the top religion on the earth today? I'm asking you. Yeah. What's the top religion on the earth? It's Christianity. How, so we're asking, how did blacks and Hispanics become Christians? Read that part again. And all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him. Whose names are not written in the book of life of the Lamb, slain from the foundation of the world. If any man have an ear, let him hear. Uh -huh. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. So he that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. So how did he cause the nations to worship him? Through slavery, by force, by the sword. He conquered the Americas. When the conquistadors came to the Americas, they slew the Native American Indians. They slew the Puerto Ricans. They slew the Seminole Indians. That's why they speak Spanish now. Spanish is a language of the Spaniards or the Latins. You did not speak Spanish at first. So we were preaching liberty to the captives, those that were forced into Christianity. Let's go right back. Let's go back. Is there more on that? No. He that killed it with the sword must be killed with the sword. So the same people that forced everyone into in Christianity and slaughtered us, their judgment is to be killed by the sword. That is just judgment. You understand? I bet you didn't know. In 14, what was it? 1445 by Pope Nicholas V. He was the first pope to sanction your enslavement. It became law. Guess who sanctioned it? The Catholic Church. You can look it up. You can look it up. You got something you want to you wanna say? But what makes Christianity wrong, though? Which I just told you. Right. Give me uh, Matthew 24, verse 4. He missed the point. And then he did. And then we're going to get 2 Corinthians 11. Matthew chapter 24, and verse 4. And Jesus answered and said unto them. Now watch this. Listen up. Listen up. The Bible says Jesus answered unto them. What did he say? Take heed. Take heed. Come on, meaning be warned. That no man deceive you. That no man deceive you. Right? Come on. Why? For many shall come in my name. Well, what? For many shall come in my name. Who is today coming in the name of Jesus Christ? Right. Who today is professing that they have the gospel of Jesus Christ? Bring it up. Who did it? Or who is still doing it? You the last of signs, huh? The popes. The popes. The Roman Catholic Church. They said, they pushed that the Pope are in place of the Apostle Peter. Right. And they try to use scriptures to legitimize it. And they're not. They're the ones that are calling themselves Christians. Read it again. It For many shall come in my name. Meaning, say what? Saying, I am Christ. I am a Christian. Come on. And shall deceive many. And shall do what? And shall deceive many. Also, that same many are the deceived of them that cause to worship him. And he had an image. They were caused, let me get by. 
to worship his image, which was the image of the beast. What does everybody like to get on their neck? A Jesus piece. Who is it? Caesar Borgia, the illegitimate son of, Ale of Pope Alexander VI of Rome. During the Renaissance period, he issued or he hired Michelangelo and Leonardo da Vinci. He commissioned them to uh, draw his son as the Jesus, and that's how they, he used that to help conquer the world. That is how he became Christian. That is how majority of the world became Christian. But Christ warned us of them. He's reading again. Come on. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ. I am Christian. Come on. And shall deceive many. And they have deceived many. The proof is Christianity is the top religion on the earth. What is the nation? <laughs> Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. 